In this video, I will show you how to enable an external user to take control of your screen during a Microsoft Teams meeting. By default, Microsoft has this disabled and for good reason. But if you need remote IT support from a company like ours, for example, then you would need to enable this feature to allow the take control from an external user. And an external user is just someone outside of your organization. And after enabling this policy, you still have the ability to control when you allow the take control feature. Okay, So this is not that it's in every meeting is going to be enabled, but when you are screen sharing, you'll either option A, that you'll give control to us, or two, we will request control of your screen and you'll have a prompt on your computer to allow or decline it. So first, we want to go to the Teams Admin Center. Now, if you're in a Microsoft Admin Center, you can just go click on Show All and click on Teams, or you can get directly there by going to admin.teams.microsoft.com. Now here, we want to navigate to Meetings and Meeting Policies. Here, you can either modify the global policy, which applies to all users, unless there's some other policy being applied to them, or you can create a new policy just for you or whoever's going to be meeting with IT support. So I'll show you both. So first, let's go ahead and edit this one, the global one. Okay, so this is the one that applies to everyone. We want to scroll down to content sharing. So this feature right here, external participants can give or request control. So by default, this is off. And let's go ahead and turn that on. You obviously, I mean, these should be on by default, but you can double check these settings as well. That everyone can present the entire screen, all that's allowed. Okay, so let's click save. Let's click confirm. It's just telling you that it might take a minute for it to update to all users. And option two, we can go to add policy. So here we can call this just the name of the policy, like the last one was global. This could be maybe for you know admins, external, take control, and description, right? Allow external users to take control of, of screen. This is just for you. Now you should know before you make this that whoever you assign to this policy, whatever features you enable or disable here is what's going to apply to them, right? These specific policies apply to a user will take precedence over the global policies. Okay, so just keep that in mind with all these features, make sure they still align with what the user previously had. Same thing here under content sharing. So you see right now it's already enabled because most likely you just copied everything that was the same thing from global policies. But you would just want to make sure this is enabled, this and uh, entire screen. Okay, and then click save. Then we want to actually assign a user to this new policy. So here it is. And under Manage Users, click Assign Users. And if you're the one meeting with IT support, then you would just give yourself permission here. So let me allow it for myself on this account. OK, so just click Add and Apply and Confirm. Now, if this is a one-time thing, you can go ahead, you know, you apply this to this user. You can edit and go back to manage, assign users, view users, and remove them as well if you don't want that special policy applied to that specific user. So you can change that here if you need to. If this was helpful to you, please like the video. You can also reach out to us, of course, using the contact links in the video description. Thanks for watching. Take care.